Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Suzette. Today, you guys, we're going to be frying up some fish with this Vanarans fish fry, crispy southern style. I've never had this. I saw it in the store. I was like, let me try to see how this tastes. I was told it is really, really good, but we're going to see. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna work it out. I also heard not to season your fish too much because it could be salty with this on the fish. The fish we have today. Some, some flounder fillets. I'm just gonna lightly season. And then we're gonna see what we're gonna see what this see. We're gonna see what this Zatarans do. And let's see. So I have some garlic powder. I'm likely, because don't nobody want no salty fish, right? That's an MSG. That's the TV y'all hear in the background in the living room. Got some pepper. <laughs> Nurse, somebody. <laughs> uh, let's see. And I'm, I think I want to use my Tony's Creole seasoning. Seasoning. Give it some color. Hope y'all enjoying your day today. And we're going to flip. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I told y'all that seasoning, we are already we already had a whole explanation about whatever in the season. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. That stuff is strong. All right. So, garlic powder. Let's see. Some NSG. Some of this Creole seasoning. And some pepper. This don't want to come out. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is our fish is seasoning. So, so we want a crunchy fish, right? So we're gonna do the milk, egg, and the Zanarans mixture. Our pan is on medium heat with some vegetable in it. And we just take our filet and we're gonna dip it in the milk. Then we're gonna dip it in the egg. And then we're gonna put it in the Xanaran. I'm gonna mix this all around. Can y'all see that? And that's as simple as it gets. Let me get a, I'm going to get a plate so we can lay them down flat. And look, look at that. Hopefully this is nice and crunchy, right? milk egg and this fish is so um 
thin. I don't want to break it apart. Take it on up, y'all. Look at it. See? Look at it. Put it on our plate. And this is the final piece of fish. To love cooking, I hate for stuff to be on my hands. Like I'm constantly always washing my hands because I don't like the way it feels. So I, right now, I just want to run to the sink and wash my hands. And I am going to do so once the last fish get coated. And we want our pan, our grease, to be nice and hot. Be right back. So our grease is nice and hot. Look at that. And we're gonna put two pieces in. We don't wanna overcrowd our pan. We're gonna let that fry up so they get nice and crunchy on one side and then we're gonna flip it over. All right, honey faces, so you know I can't just do just one absolutely thing. I found some shrimp in the freezer that I just defrosted. We're gonna season this up. And we're gonna we can have fried fish without having some fried shrimp. Like make it make sense to me. Make it make sense, right? So we got some tonies for y'all, some seasoned salt garlic powder, pepper, same ingredients that we seasoned our fish with. Gonna give this a good mix. Just mixing it up, you guys. We're gonna show, oh, oh, oh. Let's take a pause from that, but look at this fish. Get this a nice little flip. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. So with our shrimp, I'm gonna do this a little bit different because the shrimp is already wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put them in the xanaran, then flour, and then xanaran's again. This is going to give them a nice, thick, crunchy coat. And we're going to take our fish out. It's time to take our fish out. Tripping with this fish. Mm -hmm. 
That was nine on you, my youngest daughter. Look at that ring of shrimp. And voila, I fried shrimp, I fried fish. Looks yummy. I want y'all to comment down below and tell me how much would you pay for this? Anywho, I want y'all to try this recipe. Y'all stay blessed and less stressed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone, everyone. And you guys comment down below what you fix next. Oh yeah, don't forget, turn your notifications on so every time I upload a video, you'll be first to be notified.